these are the raspberry canes as you can see they're just all dying back now I have to clean these out those are the new canes coming up here and surprise surprise just look here this is a raspberry which I got it was called autumn bliss and uh, it's just making fruit now it's quite incredible this is the 10th of October and it's just beginning to start making fruit which is quite amazing you can see here there are some raw ones but I think that that and it makes the fruit on this year's cane that's marvellous this cosmos plant it's quite enormous and it's doing very well and here in the background is the amaranth which has got some beautiful colours on it at the moment and I hope to get some seeds off these and perhaps use them for, ne for next year some more amaranth wonderful colours on the leaves at the moment really big seed heads okay this is the parsnips which received the compost tea and now we're going to do an experiment we're going to pull one out and see if we've got anything that's bigger than a chopstick let's take this one let's see what it gives us Well, it's a little bit better, but not all that great. Quite long root on it, but not all that thick. Still a bit like a chopstick. Let's do one more. Let's take a big one. Look for a big one in here. Well, I don't know if there's any big one. I think they are all pretty small. Take this one and see. Oh, that's a bit thicker. Oh, I think it's a reasonable parsnip. So the composty might have worked. Who knows? Or it just might have been that they've grown this size anyway. This apple tree has held on to its leaves very well. But this big apple tree here, it's almost bare. The ground is absolutely littered with leaves. We'll have to sort of clean all this up. And over here is the where I planted the Rosa Glauca and it's got some chicken wire around about it because I noticed that there were some big hairs coming and nibbling at the stems even though it's got thorns on it but this has come on really well so next year I hope that we'll have a good looking plant with nice sort of pink, pink flowers on it this is the Corista omina po it uh, didn't give all that much flowers this year but it has got some berries on it but, uh, but I expect the birds will be taking them off pretty soon autumn is really coming on now This is the seeds from the laburnum, it's absolutely hanging the seeds. I expect you may get some volunteer plants growing. We bought that yellow plant in May and it's still growing on this drum. It's an absolutely fantastic plant, we'll have to get it again next year.
It's just been glorious. And then this ivy has been shooting out well. But it'll die over the winter. We'll have to try and sort of get it and take it inside and, and save it. Everything else is dying off. I'll try and get some seeds from these. Punahato. This green contraption here is a leaf composter. I just bought it and constructed it, so it's quite a nice little thing. So you fill it up with leaves and make compost out of them. Lots of variation. That big poppy bed that didn't do anything. I've dug it all out. There are some poppies coming up here for next year. Uh, the back there, these ones here are flocks, red flocks. And these ones here are the scabiosa, which I took out from that other bed. And at the back along there are fox gloves. Maya put in some stones here to walk on to go round. At the front, there's some sweet william. And then there's this spikia which I dug out from that other bed and put in here and I also put in the hostas from a from a bed there and along the side here those little plants there are the bellis or the pansy type and then the open hat which gives the blue flowers and I put in this little path in a retaining wall and there's some herbs, that's uh, mint, and that here is uh, thyme, and then these little ones which are spread all over the place is uh, more thyme. So hopefully it goes on these. I dug out from other parts of the garden because they weren't doing well and put them in here. So we'll see how things go. It's been a wet old autumn and it's been very good for fungus and this here I'm not sure what it is it's some fungus which is growing I'm quite sure that must be some Corvacieni or some Sopilovavar or something but I don't think I'm going to try and eat it it looks like a little monster Some little chicken, chicken head or something. This is the other flower bed and these are the sedums which are always very late flowering and the monardia have gone to seed so I'll be collecting those and perhaps sowing them somewhere else. You take the seed head like that then those are the little seeds which you can plant.